I was a cute chubby baby. It just never went away. I reached my heaviest in high school. After that, it was just a whole bunch of fluctuating weight. I just didn't want to be fat, and I tried my hardest to lose weight. It was tough, thanks to life, but I grinded it out, and I did it. And now with this whole situation, we're all at home. Now we got to do it together, so please join me. Hey, guys, what's going on? My name is Tim. This is The Healthy Gorilla. And I'm just reaching out to you guys today. This video, we're just going to kind of hone in on an idea of mine. It's the for the prepping community, the preppers, the preppers out there. Okay, guys, I've touched on this a couple of times before. We're all in the quarantine. We're in lockdown. You got to think of the future. You've been stacking, maybe some of you have been stacking some food or some guns. You, you did something special in 2020 to prepare yourself for something. And if not, at least mentally. And you know what? That's good. That's exactly what we're talking about in this episode right here. All right. So I don't know if I introduced you, me to you guys, myself to you guys. My name is Tim. This is the Healthy Gorilla. And we're talking about being prepared and working out for it. So this is what this channel is all about. We're all about working out here and, um, and using just what you have around the house, either a simple little chair or nothing you can always go out and spend the money if you got it and get some tools like uh dumbbells um anything else that you guys might see jump rope stuff you can do inside some some cardio um you can expand on that as much as you want but if you don't have anything we're just using the stuff around the house walls and little ledges and door things and sorry i got shoulders man all right and our little simple folding chair all right guys and the whole idea is preparing mentally because i myself am a prepper i got my stash going i got my little arms going right to defend myself in my home all right so i got stuff going on but it's no good if your health is crap if your health is crap your eating is crap if you haven't practiced like your diet and you're eating full three meals a day I'm sorry, that's good and all, but that's maintaining your fatness and your level of where you're at. And your body is going to it's going to freak out once you can't feed it those three times a day. And if you even if you try, it's going to still freak out and drive you nuts because you're hungry all night for a couple until you tones down and gets used to less food. Now, by that time, you know, are you still eating horribly? Is there anything going on? What's going on in the world for you to be forced to do that? So instead of going the hard route and forcing your body just start getting used to it now start cutting back on some of your meals i do a one meal a day if you don't believe me i really do one meal a day is my belief i have i used to eat three four times a day i used to eat a lot i used to go to i would go to drive through to another drive through to another drive through and i'd have all kinds of different mcdonald's and jack-in-the-box bags in my car um and soda and the soda cups I, i'm from the super size era if you guys know you used to order super there was all the sizes plus super size in mcdonald's and a few other places so i'm the super size era where everything was super size soda and fries all right and um and i used to even get the honey packets at the mcdonald's and i would have my french fries with the honey bomb mcdonald's french fries with the honey bomb fattening yes bomb good so i know how to eat fat boy stuff so this is what we're talking about is training yourself to eat less if you want there's a lot of i'm gonna have to make videos on this tips but there's a lot of stuff it's like what do you call it intermittent fasting or fasting or starvation or whatever basically the quick the quick quick run run down is if you want i ask this look question this is the answer. This is tell you everything. Do you think, do you think you have control over your stomach? Do you control your stomach? Or does your stomach control you? Question mark. That'll be my intro. Ah, that'll be my intro to this video. All right. Think about it. Whenever your stomach growls or whines for something, rah, what do you do? You shut it up like a baby. Here, here, here. You feed it. All right. Whenever it cries for something, you feed it. Not when you want. 
when it wants. Da, uh -huh. told you, told you who's in control. See, now that's what's gonna ruin you all night long. It's like a crying baby all night long, not feeding it. All right, same thing. What is the sole purpose of, basically the sole purpose of your stomach is to process food. And if it's empty, it's gonna be like, gimme baby, I need something else. And if you constantly have that three meals a day or more and snacks and all that stuff, it's getting used to that and it's been used to it. So you need to cut that out. My biggest, best tip is no eating for 24 hours. Sorry, it's a challenge. It's not gonna kill you. It's not gonna do anything wrong to you. It's not gonna do anything wrong to you at all. And in fact, it'll probably make you somehow feel better um, digestive wise or something. You will hate it. You're gonna hate it because you're gonna be fighting the hunger if you're not used to it, but unknowing to you fighting, your mind is gonna be focused on the hunger, but your body's actually getting a break. Um, so you're gonna use that 24 hours at eight o'clock. And what you do is you go one full day without eating. So the next day, you're obviously gonna be starving. You're obviously gonna be hungry, right? But now you can pick and choose what time you want to eat. Now you're in control. You see, your body's gonna just want food no matter what time it is. 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 9 a.m., 11, 10, 12, whatever the hell, it's just gonna say, feed me, man. I don't care what time it is. <laughs> but you see, then you, then you slap your stomach into shape and that's where you take control, all right? Now you pick, okay. And be smart about it because my schedule is nuts. I usually can't eat breakfast in the morning because I'm, typically my day is that I'm rushing, putting on a tie, ironing. I got to get on, get more my motorcycle gear on. I got to get onto the road and drive to work. I don't have the luxury of, you know, waking up at three, four in the morning, five in the morning and cooking a breakfast and cleaning the dishes. No, I don't. I go, I'm on by myself. So got to think lone lone wolf here got to handle this all by myself so I typically don't have time for breakfast so it all kind of works into the one meal a day all right and I'll I'll elaborate on all that stuff more but you got to hone down pick the time that you want to eat now you can pick the time boom now your meals okay I noticed when I trimmed down my meals and I was down to about one meal a day or two um I noticed that if I happen to have a Snickers bar or a potato chip bag or anything at all that was snack-like, okay, I was actually um, Cheetos, right? I was getting full on this damn little bag of chips. I was getting full, I'd eat these chips and then it'd be like, oh, okay, I'd be thinking I want that dinner. Earlier I was and then dinner time comes around and I'm not as hungry and in fact I felt full and in fact when I did eat if I did eat um, I would leave portions of food there or I'd be a lot more full so basically saying that now since I took control of my hunger and my eating capabilities now I'm down to one meal and instead of actually having like steak and potatoes and rice and vegetables and chicken and or fish or whatever, some good, you know, onions and some good healthy hearty food, you know, homemade, ha handmade, natural, clean food. All right, I, I got full on a bag of Cheetos or some Oreos and a Coke or something. You know what I mean? You can't, you can't do that anymore. You gotta cut that crap out because now you're gonna get full on these things and you're not gonna give your body the better, the better um, energy, the cleaner, the cleaner consum consumpted, consumption, whatever, you know what I mean. You're not gonna be e eating clean. It's gonna be, you're, you're gonna get full on junk. So then that goes down to cool. That one meal a day, I my personally one meal a day, I pig out, I make sure it's a full meal. I make sure I have the, the all the sides and the fixings and the chicken and the this and the that and the vegetables and then either a juice or a water. I stay away from that soda. If you're addicted, try to learn how to get toned down. All your addictions, you gotta start toning them down. Your meals, you gotta start toning them down for this prepper stuff because we're gonna have less of it or none. All right, if anything ever happens. And at least if you're trained for it, you can at least, that gets you, you're toning down your addictions, you're taking control, taking control of your life, which you can start now adding 
workouts and gym and things like that. So it's all on the positive trend, okay? Little baby steps here. So that one meal, if you are going to get down to that one meal a day, make sure it's a hearty, healthy meal that's going to get you full for your whole evening till the next day, and then you're going to have your energy. You can find your cycle there. I am okay with two meals a day on some days, not every day because that's still too much because we're trying to cut down and we're trying to train ourselves for preparedness and along all that line that's just talking about the food we're also got to get in shape guys we need to start doing stuff i have videos um i can't link them all up here but i have videos where if you're really really out of shape you can just kind of get up and down off of your chair hold on to things you can do push-ups on the wall all right, so you can start those baby steps, those first steps, but you also have to find a routine. You got to dig in and get it so you can stop doing them on the wall. You know, you want to do them on the chair. You want to do them on the floor. You want to do incline push-ups, decline push-ups. You want to do, you know, diamond push-ups or wherever you have your, however position you want to put your hands inward, outward. You can eventually do one hand push-ups, finger push-ups, um, all kinds of cool, neat things. You can evolve the one move, push-ups, into so many positions that will work so many parts of your body, and that's just push-ups, all right? This is what this is about. I'm trying to s s spark something in your guys' head so you guys can get the idea that you could start working on your health. If you're a prepper, you can start using this as a prepper tool that cost you nothing, literally nothing, all right? That's my tip for you guys, all right? Let's just keep it at that for this episode. A cool prepper tip, work on some push-ups. You can do them absolutely anywhere in your home. I have plenty of videos. Um, and you can go ahead and take a look at my push-up video. I'll try to leave that up here if that's possible. And that's it. Guys, once again, try to Control your diet so you're eating less so there's not so much of a panic to your body and your family and yourself and everything or a, you know, a shock once there is limited food. So try working on controlling your meals by skipping a day and picking your times, uh, toning down your meals. Um, ah, side tip, if you really get starving at night and you just can't sleep, I recommend a banana or a granola bar. And that's it, just one, just, just one and done. Shut up, eat your eat it, and just and close your eyes, and that's it. Your stomach should shut up. It's not recommended all the time, but if in the beginning you might need that one and done, eat a banana or eat a granola bar and knock out. Keep it kind of healthy, kind of sweet, snacky, night snack that's not gonna ruin the whole the whole schedule. But anyways, guys, that was it. Work on your diet. Trim down your meals, test that out. Try not eating for a day, test that out. Try to get down to one meal a day, test that out. Keep it clean, cut out the junk food, try to cut out the soda, and work on push-ups. And we got way more, way more to come. All right, guys, thank you very much for coming through to The Healthy Gorilla. My name is Tim, and peace out. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace out. Laters.